Greetings everyone, welcome back to yet another Genshin Impact video, and it's, uh, it, it, it wasn't that long since I made a Genshin Impact video, but like, uh, we're back playing Genshin Impact to pr probably just continue on with the Fontaine quests, because that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. But let me just get rid of that, okay? But, if I come over, uh, the new, a new banner is out, which, which, uh, has Zhongli and Tartaglia. And this, yeah, whatever. Okay, so this banner is out. And how many days? There's 20 days. I have to wait 20 days. Because I'm hoping next banner after this one is the Farina banner. That's what I'm hoping. But I'm, I'm, I I only have enough for one pool. I, I gotta I gotta play this game more. <laughs> I only have enough for one pool. Whatever. <laughs> so, oh wait, let me just do the, let me just do this real quick. There's an event going on. Is it still going on? Let me check real quick. The event's still going on. Yes, it is. I want I want to maybe do this event because I get a free Bennett. And I don't have a Bennett. So, <laughs> you know, getting a Bennett would be useful. Because Bennett's a healer. Only whenever he uses his burst. Uh, but all I have is Barbara. So, you know, Bennett, Bennett could be useful with stuff. Um... Yeah, go to over to over to the battle pass because Genshin Impact has a battle pass. Um, okay. And also, I've considered many times of actually getting the battle pass. Um, like getting just so I can get like once you know, one of these. And uh, with this, you get that. So that's like twenty dollars for that. Yeah, select a four star weapon for the current period. I just don't know, even if I were to get it, I don't even know which one I want to get. I don't know how good any of them are. And, you know, I would like a sword, because a lot of the characters, I use swords. So there's that red sword. There is, uh, this has been so slow. Um, yeah, I think this is a sword, unless this is a claymore. But I'm pretty sure this, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a sword. It's not a claymore. That's a claymore. This is a sword. This sword's pretty cool as well. I don't know, maybe a bow or a sword, because I do have Yelan and Yoimiya, which are my bow characters. Currently, I have Yoimiya on my party right now, because I don't, I don't have Yelan at a high enough level yet. Well, she's pretty high, actually. Hold on, let me see. She has level 50. She does have 800 damage, so it's pretty high. But either way, that doesn't matter. Let's just continue by clicking J, right? Oh, what's this down here? Get, 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 get. A toy warrior. Okay, whatever. Um, Charismatic Maze. That's the Perilous Trial. This is a prelude of Blood Drops. Blah, blah, blah. That's the interlude chapter. This is chapter four. Let's navigate. Okay. We have made it. And last time, Farina tried to arrest us for no reason. Or because Paimon is a floating object. Seriously, Paimon. Why, why do you always have to float all the time? Seriously, dude. Not really. really know how to use water. I guess, but those things suck. Dude, I went on the one just so I can actually get to the city to unlock the waypoints because it's the only way to actually get there quick enough. It was not quick at all. It went freaking like, I don't know, 0 0.5 miles per hour. Like, it's so freaking slow. Like, dude. Huh. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> That's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Who's the older sibling? Lumine or Ether? <laughs> They're both twins, but like, who is oldest? Because, you know, twins... There's always somebody who is older by like a few seconds or a minute or so. It's you! I remember her. I did a, uh, I did like one of those like events that was happening, uh, where I got a free, uh, I got a free, I think it was a bow? I think it's a, the bow I'm using for you and Mia. Charlotte! Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into you while riding the aqua bus. In the story of my life, this is big news. What okay. I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. It's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. How many so, chapters are there? No Is there four? I think there's four chapters right now. No need for 
introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. Yo, Lynette! Uh, now that everyone knows each other, <coughs> it certainly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. Uh. What have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle. Even if it's, for example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. <laughs> uh, that would definitely get my attention. But that's not really the kind of news you're after. That really would get my attention, yeah. <laughs> Are a waste of my talents. I don't know, that didn't really, those didn't really seem like small stories to me. I just remember, <laughs> I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? Huh, kind of sus. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. What is the mm. serial disappearances of young women case? Where are you going to get the information from? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. 20? 20? Did this has been going on for 20 years? Dude, I don't think you're ever going to solve it. <laughs> After a period of time, it's not even an auto. So why, how come it just does that? I don't get it. Is that the girls are all of a I didn't even click here. And that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Then there must be more than one criminal at work. Maybe there are copycat criminals. This yes, one. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. The abyss. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. <laughs> Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Uh, you continue talking on the Aquabus before you knew it. You are arriving at your destination. Yay, that didn't take as long as it usually does if I just go on there by myself. Hey! Yo, it's Fontaine! Even though I've already been here. Water. Look at all the water. I wonder what other characters we're going to meet. Which ones are we going to meet here in Fontaine? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of uh, other Fontaine characters. I, Nouvellet, right? That was his name? That's how you say his name? Nouvellet? Goddamn, now I'm starting to think Farina might not be the next banner. But I don't know. I, I, I read some of them for him might come out summer October, but I don't know. It's because Nouvellet is also going to be a banner character at some point. Either Nouvellet will get released on the same banner as Farina, or like, like, in the same, like, like, yeah, whatever. Uh, get released with Farina. Or the, the worst that could happen is Nouvellet gets released before Farina and have to wait another, like, I don't know, friggin' 20 days or so to actually get yeah, Farina and <laughs> yeah or you know Nuvalik could come after Farina but yeah that's that's the best possibility that one or really see on the same banner but freaking yeah I don't know this is well. the ride went by too quickly I have an interview to get to I should get going before I'm late okay yeah I don't know what Paimon was talking about the ride went by, by uh, too quickly bro Dude, the ride takes ages. It's the, the, the freaking Aquabus is so slow. It's annoying. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. 
Whatever, Charlotte. I don't think I will ever, never, never go back. <laughs> I don't know. How about we stop by my home first? Yo, we're going to Lenny's home? We wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge. Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Yeah. This city is so huge. Now where are we going? Oh, we're going to Lenny's house, but <laughs> ooh, it's that thing. The same was like um, I don't hold up. Let me try remembering. What was it again? I think it. I don't, I don't know. I saw like on the map. It was saying there's something in there, but I couldn't find it. I think it was actually one of the what are they called? I completely forgot. Uh, right, the hydro, the hydro class. I'm pretty sure I saw one. It says there's one around here, I think. Unless it's on the other side, but I don't know. I don't know. I could have sworn there was one around here. Actually, I think it was that teleport waypoint. I could not find this teleport waypoint. Yeah. I come over here. There's supposed to be a teleport waypoint up here. I I, I'm, I looked up there. There's nothing up there. And the only other explanation I could think of is it's below. I don't even know how to get down there, though. I go through the sewers? Like, bro. Seriously, the freaking um, the, the teleport waypoint. So I think that's the only one I'm missing in the in Fontaine City or whatever the city's called. But yeah, we gotta go over there because that's where Linny lives, I guess, right here. Okay. This is our current abode, Fremine, your home. Uh, Fremine. Everyone else it's a four-star character that came out. This banner. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busy <coughs> now that father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is Damn, a bro. phenomenal diver. We got like a whole family here, bro. We got all the siblings. The only thing we've ever come close to a family, well, the only family I think we've gotten so far as playable characters is freaking uh, Shenha and Chong Chong Yun. Is that how you say his name? I think those are the only two related characters. Actually, no, there's Jean and Barbara as well. Those two. Yeah. Those are the other two characters that are related that you can play as. Oh, there's three of them here. Bro, why are you always like, Paimon is Paimon? Linny sure seems to have a big family. <laughs> Linny, could you come here for a moment? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? It's all right. Go ahead. Mm. Flowers. They're talking. Talking. The background blurred. Blurred. Hmm. Okay. I see. Just, bro, right? Lin <laughs> Lynette's just there standing. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, your mouth's not moving. Oh, uh, before I forget. <laughs> The Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. <laughs> All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Yeah. Cool. It's raining now, though. It's raining. Damn. I see how it is. The rain. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Why are you... Why'd you do that? She was just like that. Looks like rain. I I I wonder, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it sure does, Lynette. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the opera house, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. Damn, bro. What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine, but we don't know where the dragon went. <laughs> Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I okay. was a child, my mother <laughs> told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Could that Hydro Dragon be the Elemental Dragon of Fontaine? Another one of the Elemental Dragons of Tavon. If it's an Elemental Dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Yeah. Try something. Don't try anything. Hydro dragon, don't cry. What do you expect that will do, Paimon? Doesn't seem to be of any use. <laughs> it is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. 
Or could at least play along. Bruh. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Lenny's an idiot. Uh, probably. <laughs> After some time, the rain stops. It was Paimon's doing what the rain stopped. You've been standing outside the entire late. time. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? <sighs> some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, sounds good. You go ahead, Lenny. Uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. I get it. <laughs> You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? All the hair colors are different. Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite <gasps> introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. I just fucking killed Aika. Who are you? Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Oh no! Oh, shit. We're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making. Uh, what were they called again? I don't know. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need no, to pay? No, they've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. It seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. <sighs> Is Lenny actually loaded? I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. I don't know, I've never been a magician in Fontaine. Hey, she <laughs> used to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. <laughs> Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? Well, this is the blacksmith, basically, you know? The blacksmith, instead of, instead of those people just they're hammering about, have this thing hammering it. Complicated. Technology. Sure in layman's terms for you, but basically everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. <laughs> oh, what? Trials produce energy. Yeah. Now I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically, when a trial is in session, the oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinale harvests people. What the fuck are you saying? Process. And I'm like French. Energy to be used <laughs> all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is. I've heard that the oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But damn, bro. Paimon still doesn't get it. How yeah, I don't get it. Unreliable, like people's beliefs, be turned into a stable power source for these machines. Well, Venti and Nahira both said. <laughs> I don't know what they said. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Probably. I've never heard anyone really put it that way before. It sounds like it makes sense. Guess I don't know. Maybe. Besides indemnidium, we have another type of energy called numusia. Numusia, what's it that? It's produced by the power of the archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already you, you again. What the fuck? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the Morio to conferee of Cabrier by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, okay. but how do you know <laughs> that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Bruh. Bruh. Huh? Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Sounds like a usual case of someone owing somebody else money. Hey, hold on. Before you go around trying to collect payments, Yo, it's Child! I wonder why he has a banner. <laughs> what are you doing at Fontaine, Child? Aren't you from Liyue? Why are you... Well, actually, I'm, I think you're from Inazuma. Either way, he's, 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 he's not from Fontaine, I'm pretty sure. But I don't, I don't even know. I don't know anything about Child's backstory. You're from Northland Bank, but we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Traveler, Paimon! <laughs> I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are Bro. the chances? We're surprised to 
see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Shesnaya? Wait, he's from Shesnaya, actually, I think, right? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together Where is Shesnaya located? Well, I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you I don't look know. at it. Pretty it sure freaking what was the other place called again? Conria? Yeah, Conria. Is that that's located like like above, like somewhere in, like, above Mondstadt and Leeway and then next to Fontaine or so. I don't really know. Somewhere around there, I think. <laughs> hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? You kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? <laughs> Listen to me, boy. If you want your mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, <laughs> what the, the last time I took Tony and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said, Hey, that's way over the line. <laughs> All right, boy. Let's see oh, who has no. to pay up now. Damn, bro. Can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. You two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Okay, sure. <laughs> sure this won't take long. Okay. Play a Sartaglia. I played a Sartaglia once, I think, either during like a, a quest or during a freaking the, the trial. But yeah, Tartaglia uses a spear and bow. He's mainly a bow user, but he uses a spear as, as a skill. Okay, die, fool. You're not dead? Damn, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can still live. Cool. <laughs> strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank. Wait, don't tell me you're... Uh... Snezhnaya, I'm not gonna like Snezhnaya all that much. I don't even like Dragon Spine. And I'm pretty sure Snezhnaya is gonna be covered in snow. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Don't, don't mess with the, the don't mess with the bank. Ooh, what was that for? Huh? Huh? Now's my chance. What do you mean now's your chance? Bro just smacked him. Bro can't use this vision. What just happened? Bro's vision privileges got revoked. If I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them, maybe there's something wrong with my vision. Strange. How could that happen? Watch. Farina's going to come up out of nowhere and be like, "You've committed a crime." And Never shit. Mind. And she's gonna be all like, if I want to ha sharp, ha, I shouldn't be bitch. Too much on my <laughs> Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Fuck that. You'd better not use your delusion too often. I don't have a vision, so don't ask me. Yeah, I don't have a vision, so. Oh, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself, but uh -huh. recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me, and I don't know why, cool. but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Damn, bro. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. We got the power. Possibility. So about this power, do you have any idea where it came from? I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14... I fell into some unknown abyss. You fell into the, time, the I abyss. All of my <laughs> the one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. I feel like Skirk's gonna be a playable character. I don't know. I don't know. Predicting through. characters, bro. She was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it and traces of it remained on me she said that all my combat training would be useful in the future <laughs> what is it what did you awaken she never explained that but my guess is that it's related to a dream i saw when i had just fallen into that abyss no well the, that that that, that uh, whatever child dream, i was God in damn. the deepest depths of the sea 
and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that's so Was it your mom? <laughs> well, we fought against you before. You summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes okay. that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. Uh, it's very possible that the power inside of you is connected to your incident in the abyss. It's very possible that. why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. Yep, there still feel like Skirk's gonna be a, a playable character in the future. Abyss. Maybe when Shnaz Naya comes out. I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. Mm -hmm. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. I have somewhere else I need to be too. More work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some the of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelist? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. Uh, damn. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting <laughs> a duel with an official champion duelist. Okay. Champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. Imagine the all of them are playable characters. I don't know, but I feel like I don't know. I don't know anything about all the backstories of all these characters, but like I'm kind of predicting something right now. Like I feel like there's this one character that I have seen that's going to be one of these champion duelists. What one of the char future banner characters or even four star? I don't really know what what they're gonna be. I feel like they're going to be one of these champion duelists, but I don't know. We will see in the future. Whenever we actually maybe meet one of these champion duelists, I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? Yeah. <laughs> Do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorin, is the strongest of the champion duelists. Clorin. I've been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. That's true. Clorin. Kind of feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorin. When we met the Hydra oh, Archon. Before I forget, I hey, want you to have I think this. I know who it is. I think. I don't know though. Huh? Your vision? Your it's that one girl with the gun, away? right? I'm just I think? worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So I think I'll be better off without it for now. Right. <laughs> I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Clorind or whatever her name is, she is gonna be a banner character if I'm correct. With it's the the girl with the gun, right? I'm pretty sure she is gonna be a banner character. Or not a banner. I think she's a four star. But it's not really the person I was thinking of as one of the fighters. <laughs> <laughs> whatever gave you that idea? So I want to meet all the later. other characters. I know Nouvellet Nuv is of is the freaking. Is someone in the courtroom or whatever. He's the judge, right? The judge? Uh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Nuvalet's the judge, I believe. And then there's other two characters that I that we haven't met that I know of. There's a girl and then there's a guy. Under Paimon's enthusiastic leadership, you walk all around the court of Fontaine. Paimon, how dare you? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Nani? Hey, don't blurt it out, Paimon. It's rude to spoil the mystery for everyone else. <laughs> uh, sorry. Paima was just surprised, that's all. Paima never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. Uh, do you have any idea how long we were loitering here? 
Never thought I'd see the day when Paimon would enjoy reading. They have light novels here. Light novels here? Damn. Light novels. I don't even think light novels would be a good word for here. The light novels are referred to as freaking novels for uh, that are written or made or uh, made or I guess for teens. Overall, In Paimon, you're like hundreds of years old. Whatever. When the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading, you should buy a copy and read it too. You already spoiled them. Who, uh, who the murderer oh, is? Sorry about <laughs> that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Hey, shouldn't we be heading to the opera house to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. But Paimon, can you go pick up the sparkly things right back there? Yo, I got an adventure's pocket what? I'm not riding the aqua bus. Fuck the aqua bus. Let's come over here. Okay. Let's head up on over. Yeah, switch to Ayaka. And there's something with this uh, fountain. Um, but I can't I can't really do it yet because uh, I, it requires me to actually get further in the game. I'm barely on Act 1. So, or Chapter 1. So, yeah. Um, but there's also the... There's also on, on the fountain there's something similar to the the tree in Dragon Spine and the tree in freaking uh Leeway with uh Yaimiko and stuff. It's similar to that. Uh, so I have to find uh hydro sigils and give them to the fountain. And then I get rewards. And one of the rewards is this uh sword template or whatever that allows me to craft swords from uh Sumeru and Fontaine. So I want to get that. So I need a lot of sigils. God, because I need to get that. Because I have the blueprint for freaking um, the sapwood, whatever it's called, um, from Sumeru, the sword. And I have the blueprint for it, and I want to make it. But I need that. I need that uh template or that uh, the sword thing. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of people. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. I don't need to know this guy's name. Julia. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. Okay. <laughs> I guess if there are kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Nah. They'd be stupid. <laughs> Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Why, 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 why are you like this? What the fuck? What's wrong? <laughs> Fashé. Fashé. Fuck saying that. Fuck saying Vache. Did you just say something, Paimon? No, nah, that wasn't I'm Paimon's annoying ass voice. Are you here? Whose voice was that? <gasps> uh, Lynette! What are you doing here? Converges here? It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Lenny asked me to wait here for you, remember? Uh, no. Right. I seem to hear a faint voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right It now. seems as if the voice was coming from the fountain. Besides, it's the middle of the day. Not the time for eerie things. Shut up, Paimon. I see. Nobody asked I for your opinion. You something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. Okay. Because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? Yeah. Don't cry, Paimon. <laughs> what? what does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? When Paimon's really sad. Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. <laughs> then you should understand that tears Damn. contain your most intense emotions. Uh... Nah, fam. The fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. How Even is that possible? The ground yeah. will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. I don't know, I was saying Vercher or something like that. That's an interesting explanation. I'm not sure whether I buy it though. So, what did the voice say? <laughs> it seems to be calling out someone's name. Been worrying about them Dude, to say the name, you know, maybe Lynette knows Vacher or something, Don't whatever. 
must get pretty nervous just before a performance, so chatting with Lenny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Right, that makes sense. Let's go in and... God, okay, we gotta go see Lenny. Lenny, yo, this thing's pretty sus. Why were you saying what's your... I don't fucking know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> okay. Yo, what's up? What's up, uh... Aif? What's up, Aif? <laughs> Aif? Yo, it's Aif. Ooh. We are entering the opera house. Let me raise my volume real quick. I knew you two would come. Nah, fam. I knew you were going to say that, Paimon. I quite literally knew that she was going to say that. My head was like, she's going to say we wouldn't miss it for the world. And then she said it. <laughs> so. You're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet. Which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. Okay. So what? There's like going to be like three people coming to this um, uh, show? It's me, myself, the and I? The house has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Yeah. Ooh, front row seats. Thanks, Linny. I don't know. I feel like front row seats wouldn't be all that great. Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny, could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. I best get yeah, busy. We'll go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, Lenny. Get on, Lenny. Get moving, Lenny. Oh, let's go to my seats. Go to the seats, Lenny arranged. And the doors open automatically, which are pretty poggers. Damn, the opera house looks sick. How sick the opera house looks. Ooh, okay. And they hold courts here? What? Or like freaking, uh, they hold uh, like court cases here. It's like, what? I want to see one of those. I'm pretty sure we are going to see one eventually, though. Oh, it's Nouvellette, right? Nouvellette. What are you doing, bro? Hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is pretty <laughs> empty still. We can hear you. Your voice is echoing all over the place. Isn't that usually your job? Of course you put this on Paimon. Excuse me. I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Bro is British. Oh, uh, so you heard all of that, did ya? Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Damn. Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. So, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? This is getting even more awkward. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's, too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, damn. So you're okay. Not Friends with Linny, then Ooh, this is getting more awkward. Bye bye, Shark. <laughs> Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. Bro, there's always like Paimon. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat, and as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see me. Mr. Linny. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait, Nervilette? Good evening. I saw you all chatting just now, mm -hmm. but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervilette is. Not I really. Introduce you to Fontaine's well, I do. Justice. Uh, Ludex. Is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to okay. say that he's the <laughs> symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Yeah. Oh, sorry for being so rude just now. I had no idea you were such an important person. But also like Nuvalet, but you know, Being like I said, I'm saving for Farina. Nearly every person but I'm also hoping Nuvalet so is not, I'm not so special, really. someone who just like comes before Farina, like I was saying earlier. By the way, I don't want to wait another 20 know, days. After the 20 days, I'm already going to have to be waiting. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seat <laughs> that has been striking <laughs> a pose <laughs> Nani? for quite a while now. I uh, believe she is trying to give you a most elegant <laughs> and first impression. Goddamn, bro. Marina! So you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become 
Flustered. Yo, look at them thighs. Oh, okay. What? Um, okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. She sure has a <laughs> smug and satisfied look on her face. She has no idea that you sat right through her ass. <laughs> Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Please wait just a okay. moment. Longer. Okay. <laughs> I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has. <laughs> Let's get on with the show. <clears throat> I must never seen a real live magic show before. <laughs> Holy Jesus! The crowds enter the venue. Ooh, but there we are. Shut up, Paimon. Sit down. Stand on the 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 the, bench, the the table next to you or something, whatever it's called. Okay. <laughs> New idiot. Uh, sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> yeah, Paimon, shut the fuck up. Welcome we gotta, one and all to the quiet. Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny, and over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Yo, Hello, everyone. Yo, it's Lynette. Uh, oh, well, hold up. Uh, uh. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. <laughs> Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good boy. Hey. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show <laughs> begin. Lynette, I know oh. you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back <laughs> on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Hey, no spoilers. Oh, That's... and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. Look at all these NPCs right here. Look at all the NPCs. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Okay. Oh. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. Okay. Yo, we can watch a magic show. Damn, bro. What the fuck? How is the hat floating? The fuck? Okay, bro, just. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Damn, bro. Look at all this magic. But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. Uh huh. So yep. It's time for something truly Apart from that hat floating trick, I was a hat floating. <laughs> this one's a little tricky. <sighs> Oof. What are you gonna do? Okay. That one was serious. Lynette. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your uh, very eyes. Okay. But that girl that was right there kind of also one or two all the Fontaine characters are pretty cool <laughs> Rose underwater it's actually quite simple she'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top how the fuck oh no I told them to check all the props carefully with the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. What are you gonna do? Oh shit. Uh, where? What? Oh, that? Okay. Um, <laughs> Farina's like, what? <laughs> okay, um... Oh, hold up. Wait, don't wait a wait a far. second. We don't want to use up all hold up. Magic. Hi. I'm back. Hold up. Uh -huh. Um uh Okay, I was about to say, bro, she just how where'd she get clothes from, bro? She went out of the she just went like poof. 
and all the clothes were stayed behind. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Farina. Okay. What a show. Farina seemed excited. <laughs> What a show. No wonder he's a famous magician. Look, that's, those are not the questions you should be asking. The questions you should be asking is, how did Lynette get out of there? Her clothes stayed behind, and then she was outside, you know, and she was wearing her clothes again. So like, what the hell? To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than... Oh, shit. <laughs> right. What's up with her hair? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far <coughs> beyond what you've just seen. What the fuck's that? I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was mm -hmm. impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now, there are two boxes mm. and only mm. two boxes. One is here and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. N no, I haven't. A swap. Or actually, I was actually I was actually kind of thinking of that. I don't know why I said I know. I was thinking of you know, it's where our you are able you go into that box and then you appear in that box, box or something like that. That's just how that works or something. Yeah. That's basically what I was thinking. Now please Everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Ow, how's it you should, uh, you should call on Farina. Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Let's watch and see. The audience member will be generated by this random number selector. Okay. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. You should choose, uh, it sh uh, better choose Farina, bro. Because, you know... I want to see more of Farina. Uh, let me see. Oh, Row 7. Row seat C3. Congratulations. You now have okay. the chance to experience it's this random person here. For okay. An entire minute. Please come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. So this random this I'm random sorry, it girl might there. Be a little cramped inside, <laughs> but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You okay. don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the yeah, magic is better interrupted, not. who knows where you might end up. Ooh. You might even find yourself in the fortress of Meropeed. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> bro freaking nervous, dude. To the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Sure. Like 60. 59, 58, just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. Okay. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black <laughs> box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Paimon kind of wants to count faster after you- Damn, bro, bro needs a whole minute to, to get ready. I'm sure Linny's prepared. With the whole crowd counting together, you couldn't e even if you wanted to. No, no, that won't do. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come okay. on. Okay. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58. That's right. Perfect. Keep it going. All right. I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. <laughs> I am counting in my head. I think things are <laughs> exciting enough in here as it is. Merely okay. a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. All right. Cool. You look so serious that Paimon thought you 
might be feeling uncomfortable or something. Nine thirty-eight. Hey, Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is that I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, <laughs> Okay, I think it's all a part of the show. Maybe he's just supremely confident in his abilities. I think it's all part of the show. Oh shit, I hit my microphone. Bang! What was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not oh, sure. what did anyway, I click? I don't know. Seem like anyone's worried about it. Uh huh. Mr. Linny, I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Dude. <laughs> we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 18 17. 17. Oh, things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Okay, nine, eight, swapping two people is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, wait, is this the back one? I can't tell, they both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down, honestly. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, that, 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 yo, Farina. <laughs> God damn, bro. Pretty, pretty fire magic. Huh? Uh, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Uh, dude. I don't over. know. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice. We'll get to the bottom. Holy soon. Jesus, dude! What the fuck? After some time, the, the guard is uh, complete their investigation. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. The way the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why mm -hmm. we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. That's kind of initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. What? It appears that this incident was not huh. merely some mishap with the performance, and there are many indications uh. that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the, pretty, the serial pretty obvious case. that it would be linked to that. That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. And to pull it off like that in front of an audience, including the Archon and Chief Justice? <laughs> such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, 
is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. How old is Linny? Because if huh? the case has started Aren't 20 they? years ago, was an <laughs> depends on how old this Linny is. All occurred during your mm. magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Bro, you said not so many times. <laughs> about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Linny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire mm -hmm. time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He couldn't possibly mean catching himself. He's a suspect at most. It's hardly to believe all this happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. <laughs> Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? I just think that he... Well, I uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. <laughs> what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's going to personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder Damn, bro. under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. Of course, my dear people. But bro, Farina's so awkward, dude. Even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. Farina also kind of reminds me of that one girl from Inspector. Freaking know her name. It's the, I mean, the main you girl. Would support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time Me? We met. Me? <laughs> I trust Linny. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. The traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. But draws really are the most boring possible outcome. Rina. No more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor okay. <laughs> on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicle. Was it a draw? Obviously lost last time. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, order. Yes, a trial is in order. Let's go. We gotta win this trial. And save Linny. Are you willing to act as Mr. Linny's attorney and defend him in this case? Yes, I'm gonna go all ace attorney on this on on this hell, bro. The trial will be held a day from now in the opera house. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for Bro, dang on Rampa, bro? We're we're do we're gonna go friggin' full on trial, bro. We're gonna do an investigation and shit. And shall remain within the opera house. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. I guy. Okay, what kind of case can you build in such a storm? Everyone is dismissed, blah, 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 blah. Bring in a new valette. Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor cow. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? No. Here. <laughs> Thank you so much for trusting me. Linny's the murderer. That's the murderer. What am I talking about? I'm sure everyone <laughs> sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries. Such Lynette was the last left. person to touch the, the water the water tank. She was the last person to touch it. On the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. Mm. Someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and yeah. knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. I feel like Farina in her spare time when she's not around people, she's probably devastated about all this stuff. Because she seems to really enjoy the performance. You know? But she has to uh, keep on her uh, acts and stuff when around people. Yes, it is very strange. What 
have happened. Whatever happened must have been. <laughs> Where'd you get the glasses and the mustache? Where did you get the glasses? When did you have time to buy them? Okay. That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's just why why do they spell guards like that? Is that he spelled guards? I don't know. I've never actually written guards with an ES. I don't know. Good thing you I don't even think I've written guards in the first place. I've written guard. For that. <laughs> we'll be counting on you. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. Yeah. Just leave it to us. Oh, yeah. Uh, since we're going to start investigating, <laughs> Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Oh, well, <laughs> I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. The secrets behind our magic are past savings, Winnie. I suppose you're right. <laughs> the truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. It is truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. Yes. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage in the seating areas. Yes, right. we'll do that. While the investigation teams are still here, mm -hmm. Detective Paimon is on the case. Bro, Detective Paimon, yo, adventure rank fifty. Hello, fifty. How's the investigation going? Where are Linny and Lynette's uh, attorneys? I see. <laughs> you must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Look, I, I don't really have any choice, okay? Farina kind of forces on me. Come with me and you'll see. <laughs> what do you mean? The deceased is one of Linny's assistants <laughs> named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually <laughs> in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, <laughs> the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. But why was Cowl inside? Wasn't the girl supposed to be in there? Why was this Cowl is inside? The real mystery. We've already <clears> seen the <throat> scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding <laughs> the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors yeah. lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. I Look, know there's no such thing. Farina's the one who forced this on us, like I said. The magician is holding the <laughs> audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. That's not always true. People can also be the most reliable evidence. Sorry, but that can't I be true. Tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. This guy playable character. <laughs> Just anyway, imagine. You may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Okay. Yeah, we will. Somehow, you can use case records to confirm your current evidence and clue collection situation and sort case related. Uh, you can check as yet undiscovered evidence and clues in the case records. Then investigate the corresponding area to locate them. Use the perception skill to find evidence and clues that can be investigated within a certain radius around yourself. This will ad advance your overall progress. Gar guards investigation report. Cease identity. Okie dokie, I got that. Let me go uh, B and go equip that, right? Is it one of these? I, I'm assuming so. Where is it? Is it this one? Uh, no, it's not that. How do I use it? Oh, it, I can just do that. Okay. Um, before I actually investigate anything, I want to 
I want to go claim my adventure rank rewards. Which is over here. I just want to go claim that real quick. Note that leaving this area will interrupt your story experience. This may affect your current quest progression. I don't know. Scrap. Let's see. Um, Because there's those three. Of, it's better not like do much. It better not better not uh, interrupt my progression all that much. You know? it better not. It's still saying look for the clues inside the opera house. So it's not really all that. Oh, uh, where is it? So right over here. Okay. <laughs> Come over to Catherine. The fourth Catherine. Right, the fourth one? Hold up. One, two, fifth Catherine. This is the fifth Catherine. Let me claim all my exp exploration rewards because I had people exploring. So yeah, let me get these real quick. Because it's been a long time since I've played. Get well, not really that long. It's been a while since i played Genshin. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. Get the way. It's been a while since i played Genshin Impact. I saw that. Let's claim this. Rank 50. So I got one of those. 25. Okay, two... I'm 51. What's this? I have to do this shit. I have to do this shit. It was so hard to defeat this last time. God. And I get this. This is the pocket watch. And I get more of that. And then for the rest, I just get I just get the standard wishes. And then it only goes up to rank 60. So I have 10 more levels to level up, but I gotta complete this. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Yep, that sucks. That sucks ass. Okay. Let me come over here and claim those. And just because well, actually let me get my get my uh my achievements. And let me go buy the let me go buy these wishes real quick. Just so I can have them. And come over to my wish and come over to the standard banner and just try these out. Um yeah, just 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 let's just do this. Don't, I'm not gonna get anything. It would be cool if I get a four star, but I'm not gonna. Uh, yep, nothing. 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 Cool. Well, let's head back to the opera house. Uh, the map. The map. The map. The map's right here. Okay. The opera house is all the way over here. Let's go over to the opera house. Teleport to the opera ecl eclipse. Whatever you call it. And go inside. Well, I'm back in the opera house. We're playing as myself. But I'm gonna end the video here, actually. Uh, this is where I'm going to end it because uh, this video is getting uh, long enough. It's already an hour and 30 minutes, which is way too long for, for now. So I'm going to end the video here and then we'll probably continue this next time. And next time we're going to have a court case where we're trying to defend Linny. Yes, by the way guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and of course, subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out and bye-bye.